What is up guys, Mac of Speed coming at ya. If you recognize this now familiar silhouette that's become more and more of a fixture on this channel each and every single time I post, it's the AEA Zeus back out here once again at the 100 yard range. A brand new optic on it for this episode, we got the UTG Bug Buster in place of the Monstrum 6 through 24 by 50 millimeter objective that we had been running in the previous episode. That scope was just not the right fit. This, I think, is going to be a much better eye relief as well as magnification level for what we're working with. Let's get into sighting in this new optic and then see what we can do with the range today at the 25 through 100 yard distances with the AEA Zeus. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started sighting this thing in with this new Bug Buster optic at 25 yards. And fire. Oh my God. <laughs> that was violent. Yeah. That was legitimately violent. Like 1,064 feet per second. I'm gonna change nothing. I'm just gonna shoot her again. Let's go ahead and see what our pressure is actually looking like before we make this thing dangerous once more. Just above the 4,000 PSI mark. I'm gonna go ahead and bring her up just a little bit. You're a little low. What do you mean? Oh yeah, as far yeah, as, as far as... You say we got a sight chance. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. Did you give it a couple clicks? Yeah. Okay. And firing. Wow. Just give me a heads up, we got two cows. Where? Two left. Three cows. Good lord, there's a baby one too. We gotta be careful. No. Nope. You fucking idiots. Stupid cows. That one's got horns, dude. I'm gonna only get up. Do shit right there, huh? That's like the whole family. All right, gentlemen, uh, scared off by the uh, livestock adventures here. Let's go ahead and continue our group. I just want to see what happens repeatable result-wise. All right, here we go. And fire. Okay, we're going to the right. Pretty close to being sighted in here at 25 yards with this new optic, boys. Let's see if I went the right direction with that last adjustment. It's grouping hard. 
at 25 yards. I really don't want to waste my air charge and waste my ammunition, boys. I definitely think like I owe it to you guys to immediately move to 50 yards and see what happens. All right, guys, let's go ahead and make the walk out to 50 yards. All right, guys, we've got our target all set out and trucked out to 50 yards. You got the AEA Zeus at about 3,900 PSI tethered. It's the best I can do pressure-wise with my small pony tank and the full charge I started out with this morning. Gonna continue at 50 yards with the 440s and then directly next to it for a direct comparison. We're gonna get those 630 grain slugs online and see exactly what the grouping looks like there as well. I'm gonna be shooting at the right-hand target, which for you is probably the left-hand target, because chances are this image is flipped, but it's going to be the right-hand target for me in the real world. And firing. <laughs> 1,066 feet per second, high left. Let's go ahead and hit it again. I feel like such a badass every time I shoot this. It's just that kind of gun. fire I'm gonna go ahead and call this valid information and go to the right and go down just slightly fire Good Lord. Either I pulled it or that was far too much to the left and to the down. Here we go, here we go, next shot. 1035 on velocity. Guys, fifth shot. So I think we went just a little bit too far to the right hand side, guys. I am gonna go ahead and click this back to the left and then we'll go ahead and switch over to the other side while we still have some pressure in this tank. The 630s definitely fit tighter in the breech than the uh, 440s. Right next door, left hand side target for me, potentially right hand for you boys. Here we go, firing. Eight, seven, four on the velocity there. Hey diddle diddle right down the middle. Definitely harder to chamber these uh, six, 630s for sure. And fire. Wow. These 630 grain slugs are impressive for sure. I mean, I'm not that good. So for me at 50 yards with a uh, air gun that pretty much tries to jump out of my bog pod every time I shoot it, I'm very impressed with this ammunition over the 440s. Way to the right on that one. Interesting result. Two more. ERR2. It's not good for the data boys out there. and see if we can't tighten this group up just a little bit with this last shot. G 
just to the right once again on that same secondary point of impact. Now that we've really solidly established exactly where we're hitting as far as this optic is concerned and generated the 50 yard accuracy for the two different types of ammunition I'll be using most commonly and the energy therein, I think it's definitely time that we have just a little bit of fun, gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get into the next segment of this video, specialty target segment. All right, gentlemen, I always try and bring you the best show I possibly can. So we have a flat screen monitor downrange and we're gonna hit it with this 630 grain slug from the AEA Zoo 72 Cal. We know we're on target based on the previous segments in this video. Let's get right into this. Big bad freedom seed, yes. And firing. Let's go see what we did. Oh, dude, it didn't even slow down. Yo, yo, secondary shot required. Secondary shot required. And fire. Yeah, that's more the reaction I was looking for. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, typically flat panels prove to be a much tougher target for air guns in general. Not the case with the Zeus. Let's move over to those steel torso targets, hit it with the 440 on top and the 630 on bottom and see if we go through. Here we go. Target acquired. Fire. <laughs> that thing checked out a dodge. It is completely gone. We're gonna have to wait until after we shoot the second one to be able to see what happened, but that thing evaporated from my sight of view inside my scope. Absolutely incredible, guys, that was badass. That wasn't even the big one, guys. Let's go ahead and hit that bottom target with this 630 grain Mr. Hollow Point Slug. Oh, so much fun. And firing. No holes, I gotta tell you, you know what, based on what we saw today, there's no way a smaller caliber air gun, including the LCS, could ever make it through these steel torso targets. Very telling about the toughness, not only of this steel, but also for the horsepower being generated with the AEA Zeus. I mean, we folded these things, guys. All right guys, as a final treat for you guys, the loyal subscribers, we're gonna do the plywood test. Now this is not actual plywood. When things get to this thickness, they become known as a glue laminate. This glue laminate here is going to provide an extremely hard target for our AEA Zeus, and I wanna see exactly what we can do to it downrange at 25 yards. We're gonna be using our 630 grain slug because of the fact that they've generated so much energy in today's filming. Let's go ahead and get right into this, guys. We'll see. And fire. Ooh. 
Wow, what a reaction down there. I honestly don't know what happened. Let's go ahead and check it out, guys. What happened? Oh my God, look at the power. Look at that glue lamp just splinter out and the passage all the way through with authority, gentlemen. Absolutely incredible. That's absolutely incredible. I have never seen an air gun develop horsepower like this in my entire life. Great stuff from Zeus. Ah, all right, gentlemen. Anytime I get to the end of a shooting segment and my cheeks are just on fire from the amount of smiling I've been doing therein, you know it's been a good day. I've had an absolutely outstanding time today putting the AEA Zeus through its paces at between 25 and 50 yards, as well as seeing exactly what it can do against some unique targets. I do think that the steel targets might have had a different result if we had been at a higher fill level, but I'm really limited with the small Benjamin bottle I have, guys. This can be a great place to go ahead and end today's video, but if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. You want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button so you can stay current on the channel as well as when new videos come out. If you really like this video, make sure you share it so somebody else can see it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.